Okay, I'm here with Raj Chandrasekharan, who has just participated in the national conversation. Raj, I want to ask you a couple of things. Uh, one is, uh, you made the point about aligning diplomacy with military strategy. Easier said than done. How do you even go about that? Well, what you need is a whole of government approach. You need the White House to make it very clear that this is the overall strategy. And what I hear, and I talk to a lot of military officers, I talk to a lot of diplomats, is, is are very different visions of how you get to that end state. There's a view in many quarters of the military that the way to do this is to continue with combat power, force, and then, and then those insurgents uh, who want to reintegrate, lay down their weapons, come into the fold, invite them back in, um, which is a different way of thinking than the State Department approach, which is let's work for a high-level deal. Now, these two things are not entirely incompatible, but they have to be synced up, and there's a lack of that linkage at the moment. Has the train left the station in that uh, you, among others, made the point that we've played our major trump card? We've, we've set a, a timeline for withdrawal. And we've also, uh, you know, I, I don't want to say expended the surge forces, but we have, we have passed the peak or we are right about to hit the peak, or past the peak of, of the, 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 the surge numbers. So you're, when you're on the downslope, you're, you're naturally at a point of less leverage. Um, and so there's an argument to be made that the real push on this should have been a year ago or 18 months ago when we were on the upswing. That's a point where you have momentum. Uh, now, the, another argument on this is, well, we're now at a point where we've actually um, had some some successes in improving security in, in parts of southern Afghanistan where additional surge forces have been deployed. And so that becomes a moment to sort of say, all right, uh, you've now seen what we can do. The problem there is, though, they also know exactly what the, the drawdown schedule is and say, well, why not just wait them out? One final thought. Uh, what did you hear from your fellow panelists today that you found most compelling? Well, just, just the, the sheer sort of breath and brilliance of Dr. Kissinger and um, you know, taking us back to uh, relevant details from, from Vietnam, from other previous conflicts, um, uh, understanding uh, the, uh, the historical context in the region. Uh, you know, was, uh, I, I, I was sitting up there, but I was, uh, I was as much a, a sort of a rapt member of the audience as anybody else as he was talking. Foreign policy class uh, with no a charge for tuition. Indeed. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Rajiv.